What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tony Hawk's Project 8. Today we are doing Crete Park. I kind of like this level. I'm, a, I'm kind of a big fan of this one in the, the next gen version. Maybe not the last gen version, but you know, it's a good level. It's a, it's a good skate park. I think uh, every Tony Hawk game needs a good skate park and they, they did nail it this time. So, pretty excited for this one. It's only about a 20 minute episode. I'm pretty happy about that because um, I'm running low on time lately regarding a lot of things I want to want to actually do. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to keep going on about that, about things I want to do. And it's not even in regards to the channel, but of course that is part of it. Um, as of right now, I'm trying to balance between streaming regularly, uploading regularly, and then the projects that I'm, I'm currently taking on with um, different things I want to do. Right now it's the MX vs. ATV Unleashed um, project that we've been working on. Um, well, I say we, but we, there's no more we anymore because Ace um, completely destroyed the um, any issues with the online because he, he got the registration working for any GameSpy accounts that are currently created. So um, there's a post on the Proskitter X forums right now um, from me saying how to not how to but I guess how to because it's kind of self-explanatory the, uh, there's a forum post of the patched EXE um, if you want to play MX vs ATV Unleashed online for either Steam GOG or a retail copy all you you don't need any specific copy all you need is that EXE and replace it in your um, directory for Unleashed. Um, back up your EXE beforehand. If you're not using Steam, um, it could be pretty catastrophic, but if you are using Steam, if you delete your EXE and then you try to, if you check the integrity of the files, they'll, they'll re-download. Um, always back up your stuff before replacing it. So, uh, yep, online is not working for MX vs ATV Unleashed. Um, registration is not working, so when you log into the game um, and you go online, it'll ask for your username, email, and password. If you fill all that stuff out and then create a new account, it'll be created. No problem. Just remember that account info because it's literally just Ace and a couple other people in the, in the server that have access to OpenSpy, um, two of which aren't really... I don't know if they're really authorized to do that kind of thing, but Ace is probably the best person to ask, and he's around often, but you really shouldn't bother him with the username and password questions. That seems kind of silly. Um, but yeah, that's back up, and right now my current project is still trying to get custom levels from PS2 games and um, Xbox games into MX. Um, it sounds ambitious, but it, re it really is not. I don't get it. I don't understand how I'm having issues so far. Um, decompiling files and recompiling aren't my issue anymore. Um, my issue right now is getting the game to actually read them. Because the way you load custom levels into Unleashed is throw them into, into the user tracks. And it's just not reading it. Um, I have one file to kind of compare and contrast to what my file structure is set up as because somebody ported over the MX Unleashed maps from the Xbox version um, into MX vs ATV Unleashed so I'm trying to go off the way their file structure is set up compared to my file structure and my file structure is completely fine everything's fine like I don't know what the, the big deal is for, for that um, I decompiled the file and then recompiled it the same way. I even decompiled my recompiler. <laughs> it's like, what is, what is it asking me basically? I'm not really sure at this point, but I'm trying my best to get that done. Um, I mean, all I, all I need to do, all I'm trying to do right now, as of right now, that I'm trying to focus all my time and energy on is replicating the MX Unleashed files to work, to make it work myself. 
Um, obviously the files are already out there for all the levels for MX Unleashed, but I need to replicate it myself to figure out how to go forward with loading custom levels, you know, how the file structure is. Because everything in my, my uh, compiled version of it is almost the same. Um, I didn't choose the same level, but um, I should probably do that, honestly. Um, I'm, I'll probably resort to that. I didn't think I would need the same level to really com compare it to, but um, I'm probably going to end up doing that. So, that's what I'm trying to work on right now. Uh, I have a, a more ambitious um, port that I want to, to put into the game that I think would be very fun. It's a pretty big file, but uh, yeah, maybe I can make it happen. I'm not sure. I'm not too confident right now because nothing seems to be working and I've poured a couple, couple hours into it, but you know, it takes time. Um, if I actually get that done, if I figure out how the file structure is and how it needs to be every single time and I see some kind of pattern, I could probably write up a program to, to make it easier on folks that want to do it. Um, if they know how to make certain textures, because right now, hey, you're back. Good to see you again. so so my timeline for this, I know I'm kind of going on a tangent of what I'm currently doing, but it's, it's pretty much all I do is go on tangents, so it's nothing nothing crazy. So my current project is to replicate the MX Unleashed files that I downloaded from some other mod user on the Twisted forums. Um, once that's done, I should have a good understanding of how the file structure is to make it load into the game. And from there, um, I don't know if a lot of people know this. If you haven't been to my streams, I don't know if many people will know this, but Cars the video game, that, that game was done by Rainbow Studios. It was developed by Rainbow Studios and ported to PC by Beanox. And I have that. I have the copy of that. And I'm trying to port those levels into MX Unleashed because they're big levels. They're big open world levels and it would be very funny to have those levels in such a, a non-meme-ish game. So that's my next step, seeing what I can do with that because I'm, I'm going from working with s the same files that I'm comparing against then I'm moving to PC files which are um, should be the same structure you know, and they kind of are. I, I didn't poke too much around, but they are very similar in how they're structured. Um, and then I'm going to be porting the PS2 versions of ATV Off Road Fury 1, 2, and Untamed um, into the game, which is a huge task because that deals with PS2 files that are structured diff differently, specifically the texture, texture files. I'm pretty sure the collision files too. Um, I'm just going to take a quick gander at how these um, collision files are set up. Um, see, all all PS2 files were handled in .res. So here we go. Yep, they're handled in .res, and it looks like they're handled in nine different files just for one track. So I'm not sure if these are different game types. I'm seeing NAT, OB, ST. I'll have to really look into that, but I have a decompiled version of one somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So, tracks themselves. Oh, they have a PSD file. That's actually really handy. So they have very similar files within the track itself. Um, but the textures, that's what I'm looking for. Textures are handled in a format that I am not familiar with. Um, in MX, Un um, MX Unleashed and MX vs. ATV Unleashed, they're handled with DXM and DXT files. In this game, they're handled with PST and PSM files. So I'm guessing the structure is way different, because PST files in MX Unleashed um, are directory files which point the game to what textures it's using for that level. I don't know if that's the same thing. No, it is definitely not the same thing. So, oh no, I'm thinking of MST. This is PST. So, PST files. 
They're not showing much in the hex editor. But these are all textures, because every every texture in the game has a DXM and a parent DXT file, or vice versa, I'm not sure yet. Um, so if there's like a, you know, startgate.dxm, there's a startgate.dxt. So I'm guessing these are, these files are dependent on each other. Because um, I'm seeing lots of multis. Uh, so yeah, that'll be an ambitious one when I actually get to it. I'll have to probably um, either research some more conversion software or write it myself, unfortunately, which I'm not exactly a big fan of, but you gotta do what you gotta do. When you, when you really wanna, wanna get something done, you can't rely on other people to, you can't wait and rely on people to make those things for you. That's a, a big flaw right now in the Tony Hawk community is people wanting things done for them immediately instead of just trying it out themselves. And I think this, this, MX vs ATV Unleashed project is a good good step in the right direction for me because I'm not only interested in a lot of programming things but I'm also interested in kind of I don't want to say working alone or kind of being the head of a project because if you go if you try to you know Honestly, this is this is just honestly, if um, if you try to, to take on a a pro skater mod at this point in time, it's probably already done, or there's probably programs already written to to do the things you're trying to do, whether they're half-assed or um, full-fledged things. And that, of course, that shouldn't stop you from trying to either make programs yourself. Um, just a lot of the programs already exist, honestly. Um, it's best to ask. One, you should ask the devs of Thug Pro whether they they themselves have a program about uh, about what you want. So if you're trying to, for some weird reason, say you're trying to port, um, I don't know, Tony Hawk motion levels, say that. You could look online and see if anyone's ever dug into the files, um, but your best bet is to probably ask the devs, because the devs that work on Thug Pro have been in the modding scene for forever. It's like either from the start or they made tools themselves that have made the modding scene what they are today. Because if you have, if you look at Gone, Gone is an incredibly smart guy. He's absolutely through the roof in intelligence with regarding not only programming but Tony Hawk mods and he's written programs private programs that benefit Thug Pro and the Tony Hawk community as a whole things that um, he or his fellow dev friends plan on using to better the Tony Hawk community um, I know he has a lot of personal projects going on regarding Tony Hawk that he's probably using those pro programs for. Um, and, you know, no doubt he has all, all the right in the world to use those programs privately because he's the one who wrote them. You know, you can't, you can't dig something out of somebody just because you kind of want to take on a project like that. I'm kind of rambling because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with this. But I think the main point still stands that you shouldn't beg for for programs from other people that that wrote them because you want to take the easy way out. You know what I mean? So if you want to decompile American Wasteland files, or if you want to write new functions for it, there's tools out there um, that you can use to make it easier on yourself, but it's probably a good idea to, um, one, ask questions. And two, look into actually programming things yourself. Because without any programming knowledge, modding modding becomes just a, an asking game and a, a huge Google search for things that are already done. Um, I won't say that I haven't done my fair share of asking and, 
and hoping for different files. But I've learned over the time of um, being in the Tony Hawk community that having a programming back background is probably best when it comes to taking on mods. Um, and with this MX vs ATV Unleashed um, project, I haven't done any programming yet, but I plan to if I can ever find out the structures of these dumb, stupid files. Um, to make it easier on people going forward, or just to make it easier on myself. I don't really know my intent yet, but I know the programming, the, the modding scene for Unleashed isn't really existent, but if it gets popular popular enough in the community, um, then see where it goes. I don't want to... I don't want to toot my own horn, and I feel like that's what I'm kind of swaying at right now. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not trying to say that, because I haven't done any real, real work yet. I've only done research, so I can't really say I've done more than other people. I haven't. I'm basically double-checking someone else's work to see if I can replicate it. Which is a good practice, I will say. It's a pretty good practice. That's mainly what we did in my programming class when I was in college, was that, you know, you have to look at a program or read the description of a program and replicate it yourself. That's pretty common practice in programming classes. Um, maybe not the best way to learn programming, but it's a start. I have coffee. I'm going to drink my coffee because I should shut up. Yeah, I was, uh, I picked up a physical copy of Cars, the video game, at a Goodwill. It's, an, it's a nice copy. I won't say it's a bad copy. It's a Target exclusive copy. That's not why I picked it up. Honestly, I don't know why I picked it up. I do like the game. I streamed it one time. The game is really solid. It's, it plays amazing. And obviously that's because Rainbow Studio developed it and they have an incredible um, and vast knowledge of how to make racing games and racing engines. I will say, Rainbow Studios has knocked it out of the park with most of their, their racing games. I don't want to say all their racing games because I think they made Reflex, and Reflex wasn't really fun. Um, but Anyway, yeah, I, uh, I never thought I'd see the day where I would dig it out of my closet and be like, I need you, because um, why would I? But of course this project led me to do that. So I'm pretty happy about that. I had to dig it out and it's on my desk just staring at me. There's a lot of good maps in, in Cars the video game. Um, the Radiator Springs map is probably the big one that I want to get done. Um, so. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I've been working on. That's why I've been kind of every other day video uploads. I, it's I'm, I'm recording this commentary on the day that it is going up. Um, and I probably won't even be able to schedule it at this point. I probably just have to upload it straight up. Um, I'm not really sure. It depends how fast I can edit this and um, get a thumbnail up. So. Yep, that's what Tyler's been up to. That's... uh. He hasn't been lazy lately, for once in his life. If anything, he's been itching to get a lot more work done. Fortunately, um, my videos and streams have suffered because I haven't streamed for like three days, I think. Um, yeah, because last night I wasn't home. The night before that, we were Pro Skater X crew was playing MX Unle uh, MX vs TV Unleashed online because we got it to work. Uh, it was funny. I should have streamed that because we were having fun. Ace, Freddy, Dode, and and I. It was a lot of fun. This video is coming to a close though. Sorry for rambling and maybe not having a lot of valid points. It's just how it goes sometimes with my my thoughts. Um, I respect all of you. I hope to see you guys in the Discord. And I hope to see you guys on MX vs ATV Un Unleashed Online. I made a post on the Steam community, so go check that out. Other than that, have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.